There's a growing sentiment um, uh, coming from very powerful people that we need to move away from fossil fuels and we need to keep a lot of those fossil fuels in the ground. H how do you respond to that? Well, um, number one, I think our industry does the best job we can to make sure we, for instance, capture every molecule of methane gas at the well site. We do it at Pioneer. Um, I know Alan does it on his pipeline systems. Um, so that uh, in regard to uh, long term, it's hard for me to argue against uh, global warming. I mean, we have been flat temperatures. I've got a set of 25 geoscientists that have studied climate change and global warming. Uh, you don't get much press. There's a lot of scientists that talk about this, but sunspots are more critical, important to what's going to happen again. Uh, I don't think we'll stop the climate change movement. Uh, but do, do you doubt the science? Spots. Do you have questions about the science behind? It's a, well, as an engineer, uh, it's 100 years of history and a $5 billion history. And so this world's going to cool again, I promise you. I don't know when it's going to cool again. Uh, but fossil fuels, it's, not, it's something that's moving forward. Uh, they're attacking uh, you know, heavy oil. They're attacking oil sands first. Mm -hmm. uh, they're attacking coal. In my opinion, coal is essentially, if it weren't for exporting coal, coal is almost dead in this country. Scotland just announced uh, they're the first ones. Um, they've shut down all coal fire power plants. And so it's something we have to deal with. Uh, we have to make sure that uh, we prove to people uh, that it's, uh, it's being done safe. But, but just to make sure I understand, uh, in response to what we've heard from Ban Ki-moon and others, you're, you're saying you're not sure that the science is there to justify moving away from fossil fuels. Yeah, yes, exactly. You know, I, I, can't, I can't prove it. Mm -hmm. uh, people took 20 years of history of global warming, uh, changes to climate change back about six, seven, eight years ago. Uh, it's happening. Uh, how much of fossil fuels is contributing to it, I don't think anybody knows. But there's nothing that's gonna compete. That's why Saudi Arabia made this move. People think it's US shale, they think it's Russia, they think it's Iran, but one of the main drivers, Ali Nami, mm -hmm. um, did. He traveled around the world and he saw this big movement that's happening. I've got kids in, um, in elementary school in Carmel, here mm -hmm. in California. They're being taught already, not as much in the Texas schools, but they're being taught uh, hydrocarbons is bad. Uh, so there is a big movement to electric cars. What, I think. what do you tell them? You know, when you, when you sit down with your grandkids, they're being taught, how you, you know, fossil fuels are bad. I, I tell them there's, there's other sides of the story. Um, but, you know, the world is warming. Um, and, but I think, again, we're going to see a cooling period at some point in time. Well, it, may, it may not be in our lifetime, but fossil fuels will be, we're going to deplete. This, this shale technology is going to last probably for a good 50, 75 years. We need to develop alternative energy anyway. So I have solar on my homes in Santa Fe. Uh, so I'm all for solar. I'm all for alternative energy. I'm all, we use wind as our major, one of our major power sources with all of our pumping units out in West Texas. So I'm all for it. Uh, I think it's gone too far, too fast.